Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Hallelujah. 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 All praises to the Most High Yahuwah. We give you praise. We praise you for Yahusha Hamashiach. You are our Elohim. You are our El Elyon. You are Yahuwah Zava. All oh, we give you praise. Yahuwah, I thank you for your word. Your Torah of truth. Your word made flesh, Yahuwah. Your word that brings life. Your word that is medicine. Yes. Yahusha Hamashiach, I give you praise. Our kinsman redeemer, the guardian of the Torah of truth. Our avenger, soon coming king. I give you praise, Yahuwah, in this name. I'm asking you to take the reins of my lips, control of my mouth. Yahuwah, reign over what I say. Be, allow the basura of truth to come from me to those who hear. And Yahuwah, you have those that you have chosen to hear the basura of truth at my hands. I pray. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, that I would not cause any to stumble. That I would not cause any to be injured. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray that the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of HaMashiach, I pray that the eyes of their understanding would be enlightened, that they would know what is the hope of their calling and what the riches of the glory of the inheritance is in the saints. Yahuwah, I pray that your word would be made alive in them. Or that the words that I speak would come alive in them. That it would give them life. And Yahuwah, I pray that you do this in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. I thank you for your Ruach HaKadosh. Ruach HaKadosh, spirit of Yahuwah. Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Spirit of counsel of might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of Yahuwah, Ruach HaKadosh, speak through me and use to thy praise and to thy glory. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. You are mine. Listen. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you praise. I'm going to give you praise because you are my Elohim, you are my El Elyon, you are my life, you are my Yeshua, everything I need can be found in you, you are my life, Lorvin's the firmament, we don't own the rights to this music, oh my Yah, Yeah, I love this ox. You who know me know I love this ox. I come in, I go out with this music. Yes. Hallelujah. We going in. We going in. Listen. You're my Elohim. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. We are going in. And you know where we left off. If you don't know, it's okay because we about to go in, right? We were and still are in the book of Ephesians, right? 
And the prevailing theme that Yahuwah is bringing forth is that Yahusha is the way, right? The truth and the life. The life is what we are focusing on and the fruits of the life, right? The things that are reflective of those who are possessors of the life, right? The things that Paul is recording here that he is spoken about have everything to do with those that are in the way who have received the truth and are in the life, right? No man cometh to the Father except by Yahusha Hamashiach, right? The life, right? No one is going to get before the Father without Yahushua HaMashiach, the life, right? Yahushua told Thomas, he told Philip, he said, listen, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He went on to say, well, show us the Father. He said, show us the Father, it'll satisfy us. Yahushua said, if you see me, you've seen the Father, right? Not only that, I am the way, the truth, and the life, right? The way is obedience to the truth. The way is obedience to the truth. And the receiving of the truth walking in the way gives you life. Hamashiach. Ephesians 1 says, where's that? Uh, you have he quickened. Even when you were dead and your trespasses and sin. You who were disobedient, right? You who were dead, dead, literally dead, literally, well, not literally, spiritually were dead. <laughs> you were walking dead, right? But Yahushua gave you life, right? Yahushua gave you life, right? But a Lua who is rich in mercy for his great love. Well, that's, wait a minute, that's chapter two. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm trying to get chapter one, I'm sorry. I take that, let's go to chapter one. Chapter one. Chapter one. Um, where are we, what are we, what are we? I know what I got it. Having predestined us according to the adoption by Yahushua Hamashiach, right, to himself, right, according to his good pleasure, Yahuwah adopted us, right, and it was because of his good pleasure, to the praise of his glory, of his grace, right, his unmerited favor, his, his favor for us, his grace, his favor. Right, we didn't earn it. There's nothing about grace that reflects us having received because we earned or deserved it, right? But this is to the praise of his grace wherein he hath made us acceptable in the beloved. We are we are acceptable in the beloved, right? Right? In whom we have redemption through his blood. Listen. There is no life without the redemptive blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, right? There is no life. There is no life without the redemptive blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, in whom we have redemption through his blood. We have redemption through his blood, right? Let's look at this. 
Let's look at this word redemption, right? Redemption through his blood, right? The word redemption in the Greek means the release affected by payment of ransom. Yahushua paid for our salvation. He bought us back from being slaves to sin, right? He took us from death to life by his blood. He is our kinsman redeemer. He is the redeemer of his people. But not only his people, right? But all those who would receive this witness, right? This witness that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and through faith in his blood, you have redemption, which is life, right? So, there is no life without Hamashiach. There's no life without Hamashiach. There's no life without his blood being shed. There is no life, right? You, 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 you have to have received his life. No man is able to get to Yahuwah except through Yahushua. He's the life, right? He's the way. He's the way. The way is obedience to Torah, right? The way. The truth is the Torah, right? Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is truth. Psalms 119, 142. Righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Whose? Yahushua's righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. His law is truth, right? Yahushua is the way. The truth and the life. Now, let's go to the fourth chapter of Ephesians, right? Now, we addressed Paul's teaching them the importance of unity. And we discussed yesterday to great extents in the importance of unity, right? We gonna read over it, but we gonna read over it fast. I therefore, Paul, a prisoner of Yahuwah, beseech you to walk worthy of this life, right? This life is a vocation, right? In this life, there are varying degrees of vocation. Right, but this life is a vocation, right? Wherein ye were called, we who have accepted Yahushua Hamashiach's way, who walk in his truth and have received his life because we have received the redemption through faith in his blood, right? We have life and we have been called to this vocation, right? Now, in this vocation, there are characteristics that should be a part of us, right? With all lowliness, right? Right, lowliness is a characteristic that we should possess. Meekness, you know, is a characteristic that we should possess. Long suffering. It's a characteristic that we should possess and we should be forbearing one another. All characteristics that we should possess, right? And we do it, one another, we do it to one another in love, right? Yahushua said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments as I've kept the Father's commandment. Yahushua said, I show mercies unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Love is attached to obedience to keeping the commandments, right? Yahushua said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. To keep his commandments means to obey his commandments, to, to guard his commandments, right? We're supposed to be guardians of his word, the Torah, right? So Yahushua said, right? Love 
or actually Paul said, and you should said it too, right? Paul just saying what Yahushua had said because he has been saying the words, right, that Yahushua has given him, right? The Torah, the Basur of truth, right? So he says, endeavoring to keep the what unity, the unity, the oneness. Right? Yahushua said to the Father, Father, pray, I pray that they would be one as we are one, that they would have the unity that we have, right? That we they would walk in this unity, that they wouldn't have dissension and they wouldn't argue and they wouldn't fight over stuff. They won't they wouldn't have rifts, right? They they wouldn't have a uh, a uh, uh, offenses that leads to separation and cause people to walk away from the body walk away from the assembly because you know they 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 get offended right because in the in the ruach of love we we, we supposed to entreat right right we, we, this is the part of the vocation we supposed to loneliness and meekness and long suffering long suffer that that word long suffer it's like be prepared to suffer long <laughs> most people don't mind suffering every now and then but then they have to suffer and attach long to it we suggest it's an extended period of time but when you consider Yahushua Mashiach right he suffered long he did he suffered long he suffered long he suffered while he was in the shamayim before he became flesh because <laughs> yeah, he had to put up with right the rebellion of man he had to deal with the rebellion of man with the father because i mean the father's one and the father you know he but he long suffers Right, like he long suffered us as a people, you know. He he just told us to obey him and keep the, the Torah and walk in the commandments, and you know we did it for a while, and then forty years later we did, and we go into captivity, we get delivered because we call on him, and then we would fall back again forty more years and go back into captivity again, and you know finally got to the point where you said, Nah, Nah, you said, Nah, 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 yeah, well, this this is, I I I gotta I gotta they gotta go into captivity. Because I had to keep my word. And they're going to go into captivity for a while. Yeah. yeah. They're going to go into captivity and and, 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 and the temple's going to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, I, where I dwell, where I, where, 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 I, where I manifest my presence, where they come to worship me, that's going to be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm, I've suffered long with them. I've suffered hundreds of years, thousands of years. I've suffered with these people, right? Right? He suffered long with them. And then Yahushua came. Right in flesh, right, born of a woman, thirty years, thirty years old, he begins his public ministry. But you know, he had to suffer throughout the time that he was growing up because he had to witness these people that were just rebellious and didn't want to walk in Torah, didn't want to obey the truth, right? And then when he steps out into his full time ministry, right, he now is, right, the Lamb of Yahuwah. Behold the Lamb of Yahuwah that takes away the sins of the world. Yahukanan said it. He said, Look, I am here to testify of him, right? Yahushua, right? And from that point on, you know, he started having followers and people that would, would want to be with him, right? And he had to suffer along with these people because these people was messed up, you know. You know, he, 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 and Yahuwah, the Father, sent people to him. You know, he sent the 12 disciples to him. You know, they didn't. He suffered long. Well, come on, you know, we, we talked about that a little bit before. We talked about Paul. He suffered with Paul. He suffered long with Paul, right? Paul walking around, breathing out murderous stuff, you know, uh, participating, uh, uh, complicit in the stoning of Stephen, you know. You know, he suffered long with him, you know. You know, Paul, Paul he says, look, 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 look. Why you, why you persecuting me, Paul, on the road to Damascus, right? He suffered long. You know, Cephas, come on, Peter. You know, Peter, you know. He had his moments, you know. He, you know, he says, "Listen, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta do the do, gotta do the do. Right? You know this. We know this. We know the story, right? Three times, you she said, "You gonna deny me three times, boss?" Yeah, Peter said, "No, I ain't gonna do it. You, I ain't the one. Not me. I'm not gonna do it." Yeah, yeah. 
and and every word that Yahushua says come to pass. <laughs> right? Right? So did it happen? Yes, right. Yahushua long suffered him, right? And then after he was resurrected, Peter was fishing, right? Out there in the water with no clothes on, fishing. Him and his brothers. <laughs> Yahushua walking up on the sand, walking up on the shore, and, and you know, he was like, hey, you're about to fish it, you know, did you catch anything? Ah, no, nah, we ain't catch it. Hey, throw it on the other side. Whatever. He said, oh, yeah, they didn't recognize, okay, something happened. Come over to the side of the boat, and Yahushua, Yahushua's there. Peter, do you love me? He said, yeah, you know, I love you. Feed my sheep. Feed my lambs. Peter, do you love me? Yeah, you who you know I love you. Yeah, I'll feed my lambs. I'm long suffering you, Peter. But so, I'm suffering you long. I'm suffering. <laughs> and yet we don't suffer long. We don't, you know, we say we do, right? We say we, we, we want unity, but but we don't suffer long. You know. You know, we don't suffer long. We ready to endeavoring to keep the unity of the unity of the Ruach. The unity of the Ruach. This is not just the unity of 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 Yaakov Yehuda. This is the unity of the Ruach. This is the Ruach's unity. And when we don't walk in unity, we grieve the Ruach. When we don't walk in unity, we grieve the Ruach. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Ruach HaKadosh in the bond of peace. Why do we do it? Because we, we, we're called to live at peace with all men. Right? But especially those that are of the household. The assemblies of faith. Right? Live at peace. Right? Live at peace. Do the things that entreat peace. There is one body, right? Yahushua's body, right? Right? There's one assembly. That's Yahushua's assembly, right? Right? One assembly. One body assembly, right? Because in the end, it's all about the unity of the Ruach. Of the body, right, right, one body, right. Don't matter what assembly you are, you're working together in the body, right. It's about doing that which works for the body, the benefit of the entire, the entire, the whole, the whole, not just you, not just yours, the whole body. Assembly, the entire body. There is one body and one Ruach. One Ruach. The same Ruach that moves in this body. Right? Moves in that body. What Ruach moves in my assembly is in your assembly. Whether that assembly is attached to you or not. It's a ruach. It's, it's a spirit. It's one ruach. Kadesh. One spirit. One body. As ye are called in one hope. Yehuda. You all have just one hope. And that hope is in Hamashiach. That hope is the hope of your calling. That hope is the end result, life. Right? With Hamashiach. Even one calling, one hope of your calling. There's one calling, right? Yahushua said, I alone. I alone, one, I am the way, right? One, 
I am the truth. One, I am the life. Now, in him, he replicates us in order to do his work, right? In redeeming our kinsmen. But it is him. One. It's one. Right? One. Adonai. One. Faith. Yahushua Hamashiach. There is no other name given unto men whereby they must be saved. One, at the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, one faith. You need to release your faith in Yahushua Hamashiach, just one person. One baptism, Hamashiach. The baptism for the remission of your sins. One baptism. One Alua and Abba of all who is above all and through all and in you all. Why is it just one? Alua, right? Because it's one Yahusha. Yahusha said him and the Father are one. You can't separate us. We don't have contentions. We don't have rifts. Me and the Father, we don't have problems with one another. Right? We don't get offended. I don't walk around offended at what the Father says. It's only one. One Alua. There's one Yahuwah. There's one Yahusha. There's one way to Yahuwah. Through Yahusha. As he declared that he was the way he replicates himself in us but I ain't nobody's way I give the basura of Yahushua Mashiach he becomes their way but he uses me to be a kinsman redeemer he uses me to be a guardian of the Torah to rightly divide the word of truth he uses me to be the one that he uses to reach and to avenge the wicked. Because we have a treasure. Okay, let's go on this one. Let's go on this one. We got to get through this. One Alua and father of all. Right? Of all. Right? And Paul is referencing the Gentiles. Right? He's, represent, he's referencing Gentiles. Right? Gentiles. And again, we've already established that these Gentiles could well have been all Hebrews that were once Hebrews but became Gentiles. Or they were Gentiles because, you know, that was Turkey. Ephesus. West Coast. Right? So, in Ephesus, in Turkey, they were Gentiles. Right? He says, above all and through all and in you all. Why? Because it's the same Ruach HaKadosh. It's the same one Ruach. Now, if the Ruach ain't in you, he ain't talking to you. If Yahushua ain't the way, the truth, and the life for you, then he ain't talking to you. If you ain't being obedient in the way, right, Keeping Torah, walking in the Torah of Hamashiach, then he ain't talking to you. Don't matter whether you're Gentile or Hebrew, he just ain't talking to you. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. So, let's go. But unto every one of us is given. 
grace. Right? So Yahushua provides us grace. Right? Because we know that Yahukanon says in 1 and 14 that the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. Even it was the only begotten of the father full of grace and Torah. Truth. Well, he was the Torah made flesh. Full of grace and truth. Everything Yahushua said was truth. Right? So he's dealt to every man the measure of grace of the gift of Hamashiach. Right? Wherefore, he saith, when he ascended, right, up to the height and led captivity captive and gave gifts to men, he ascended, right, on high, on high in the Shamaim, seated at the right hand of his father, Yahuwah, right, Having taken captivity captive, taken that which held men captive and made it captive unto him. Which means that it didn't have to be captive to us any longer. Because we received the way. We received the truth of Torah. We received the Basora of truth. Right? We received the redemption through the blood of Hamashiach. And we walk in the way. Right? Now, we are no longer captive, slaves. Right? We have been made free. He says, But unto every one of us, is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Hamashiach, right? Wherefore, he saith, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men, right? Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended, right? He came from the Shamaim. As the spoken word in the womb of Mary, developed as a as as a, a, a son of Alua in the womb of Mary, and was birthed out as the son of Alua, and then he lived his life for what thirty three years, and then he hung on a tree for you, for me, right. He did this. And then he descended in the shield. Right? And Yahuwah, after three days, raised him up. He took captivity. That had no longer a hold on us. We are no longer through fear of death held in the bondage. He said through fear of death was subject to bondage. But he took captivity captive. We were no longer slaves. No longer slaves to sin. We we no longer had to be slaves to sin. We we no longer had to be slaves to the to the desires of our flesh and of our mind. He took that. Right. Right. That he might fulfill all things. He that descended is also, came also that ascended up far above all the Shamaims. Yahushua is exalted far above the heavens. Yahushua's seat is at the right hand of Yahuwah. Yahushua. At the right hand of Yahuwah. Right? And... 
because of this, his victory over Hasatan, his victory over sin, his victory over the grave, his victory, he could give us gifts. Right? In order to foster the unity of the faith. And he gave some apostles, verse 11, and some prophets and some evangelists and some teachers, pastors and teachers, right? Why? For the perfecting of the saints. And we as the code of Sheen should be perfected by those who operate in these gifts, right? Right? who demonstrate by their lowliness, by their meekness, by their long suffering, by their forbearing, by their endeavoring to keep the unity of the Ruach, by operating in these offices, they are to perfect the body. perfect the body right to to promote the unity by the giving of the busora by the reaching of the people who Yahusha has called those that the father has given them For the perfecting of the saints. This Basura is to perfect us. And this Basura is to be dealt to the people from a place of lowliness. Meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another. Listen, you know. Paul had a thorn, right? And we really don't know what that thorn was. Maybe some people feel that they may know what that thorn is. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just speculating. But right here we have the Apostle Paul. Right. Short dude. Stuttering. Knowledge. Super knowledgeable. A brother, a Hebrew, right? Short. Stuttered, right? Had some kind of speech impediment. At least that's what the theory, the prevailing idea is. He had some kind of. But Yahushua gave him something to keep him. To buffet him. To remind him. And you, 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 you know, Yahushua gave him a thorn. Gave him something that bothered him. Now, he asked Yahushua to take it away. There might have been the speech impediment. You never know. But Yahushua said, no, I ain't doing it. I know if I do, you're going to get lifted up. You're going to think highly of yourself, more highly of yourself than you ought to think. Right? Yahushua has these people that he's dealt the measure of faith with, but there is something that he has, that he uses to remind us that he's in control. <laughs> it's a thorn in the flesh. It's something that we all know. 
that we have, right? <laughs> and I thank you, Husha, for that thorn, right? Because he uses that to help keep me in line because you know Yahushua didn't need a thorn because he was the Basura made flesh and he calls us and puts his ruach in us, right? Right? But Paul says there's a war going on in my members. Right? Yahushua was able to walk in the mastery of righteousness. She was a word made flesh. The scripture says that he learned obedience by the things that he suffered, but what he suffered was in his flesh right, that did not affect his ruach. It did not provoke him to a place where he sinned. Everything Yahushua did in demonstration was by righteousness and truth. There was, there was no unrighteousness in his actions. Right? But, but, but Yahushua knows that there are some things that he has to do to us and in us. Especially those who he has given the measure of grace to do the things that we do to keep us from being lifted up. See, because we're supposed to be perfecting the saints. We're supposed to be lowly, meek. Long suffering. <laughs> Paul's writing his letter to the Ephesians, right? But Paul, throughout his ministry, demonstrated a lack of long a lack of long suffering with, with John Mark. There was times when he wasn't lonely. He was lifted up. forbearing. This is something that we have to constantly submit to the Ruach HaKadosh in order to be able to do this. God submit to the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? And it's to perfect the body. What I do should perfect the body. Perfect the body. Perfect the body. It should be perfecting the body. It should be perfecting the body. It should be perfecting the body. Perfecting the body. The assembly should be affecting and perfecting the body. Should be perfecting the bodies. Should be perfecting the bodies. Right. He says, till we all come into the unity of the faith. We are supposed to be doing this until we come to the unity of the faith. Oneness. the entire universe of assemblies. All. I'm talking about, no, let's, let me clarify. Let me clarify. If you don't believe in Yahushua Mashiach, then you ain't in the assembly. You ain't in the unity of the oneness of anything. 
Actually, you are divisive and causing division, right? If you're not walking in the truth of Torah, right? And in your life, in obedience to the way, you ain't in the unity. You ain't even trying to be unified, right? Take a step further. If you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, the seal of Yahuwah, you ain't not his. If you don't have the Ruach HaKadosh, the seal, right? And listen, even if you're in the way and you've accepted Yahushua and his blood for the remission of your sins, you still got to get the seal. You still got to get the seal. And the seal ain't automatic. You got to wait for it. You got to get to a place where you recognize your need for it. And you have to wait in earnestness, believing by faith that Yahushua has provided you this gift and receive it by faith. Seals you. If you don't have this, you can't unify with anybody. This, listen. Listen, he says, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Ruach HaKadosh. In the bond of Shalom. You, you got to have the Ruach HaKadosh to even begin to walk in unity. The leadership. Right. The leadership should walk in the Ruach HaKadosh and should command these characteristics. These, these characteristics should come from you. Lowliness and meekness and long-suffering and forbearing one another. Because that's why he called you. That's why he gave you the measure. That's why he gave you the measure of grace. This, that's why he gave you the gift of grace. That's why he sets you there. Right? That's why he sets you there. And we're supposed to be there till we all come into, all of us, come into the unity. Everybody doesn't have these gifts. Everybody doesn't, everybody hasn't been dealt this measure. It's not been dealt this measure. And with this measure comes responsibility. Right? With this measure becomes responsibility. Be requires self-evaluation. It requires you being before Yahuwah constantly making sure that in his Ruach HaKadosh you are endeavoring to keep the unity of the Ruach. Right. Till we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the son of Elua. We all. We all who he is predestined and called. And listen, there are going to be people that's growing amongst the, the wheat. That's just going to grow there. Yahuwah knows who they are. Just like Yahushua knew that Judas was in the midst of him. But that don't change who you are. And that don't change what you do. Doesn't change what you say. Doesn't change how you treat. It doesn't change anything. Right? And you do not want to get the buffer. Right? <laughs> Paul was like, look, just take this thing away from me. You all know you. No, 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 no. My grace is sufficient. See, you have to maintain that because he don't want you to get exalted and think more highly of yourself than you ought to think. I'm speaking about me. I know what mine is. I see it every day. 
No, it's not a sin. It, I see it every day. It's the constant reminder that you need to do what I tell you to do. It's a constant reminder. And the Ruach is what makes me get up every night in the middle of the night and dance before you. Dance before him, speaking in other tongues. Dance before him, speaking and praising his name. In the house, by myself, in the dark. Dancing before you every night. Every morning, or early morning. I mean, like two, three, whenever he wakes me up. Every morning. Come meet me. I do it because I know that he has expectations of me. I do this as often as I can because he has expectations of me, right? He's dealt to me a measure of grace. To perfect you. perfect you and I have to do it in meekness and loneliness I gotta make sure that I don't exalt myself in my flesh higher than I ought to I, that I think soberly I gotta submit to the Ruach HaKadosh I got to be in a place where I can hear his voice listen Till we all come into the unity of the faith, faith, the unity of the Imunah, and the knowledge of the Son of Alua, right? Because we all need to come into the knowledge of Yahusha, the Son of Alua, unto mature men, mature men and women. To the statue of the fullness of Hamashiach, we are to be to the stature of Yahushua Hamashiach. Now let's go into this, right? Because I teach the Basora, right? And because I give out the Torah of truth, the, I'm a guardian of the Torah of truth, right? It's my job to ensure that I teach you the Basor by the Ruach of truth, right? And that I do it from a place of lonely, lowliness and meekness and gentleness, right? And that I do it for the purpose of the unity of the body, right? He says that we be no more tossed children, right? Because as a teacher and as I deliver this word under these conditions to you, you have a responsibility and obligation to receive this word and not be baby. Not be babies, right? Now, there's a way that I have to deliver this basura to you, right? And there's a way that I have to support you in this basura and giving this truth, this word of Yahushua to you. But you can't be tossed about, right? By to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine. And the slight of men. Listen. If I'm giving you the Torah. And the Basura of truth. You have to guard that Torah. You have to guard that truth. Right? You have a responsibility. To guard that truth. I have a responsibility. To present this. Basura. To produce 
in you a word that will cause you to develop in unity in the knowledge of Yahushua Mashiach, right? But you can't be caught up in stuff that you know that ain't true. You listen to the people that you know that ain't true. Right? You entertaining, you entertaining every wind of doctrine, every slight, every cunning, you know, every crafty thing that somebody says. And you, you can't be like that. But for the same reason, right? You can't be in a place where you don't receive a word, right? You can't be in a place where you receive a word. Listen, I'm not the only place for you to receive a word. I'm not the only person for you to receive a word. Yahushua may have you listen to this in its entirety. Yahushua may have you to listen. He may not. I mean, you know, he has those who he chooses to receive a word, and that's it. That's it. But if he tells you by the Ruach HaKadosh, because this is going to minister to your heart, that's something else, because this is Ruach. Everything that I do is Ruach. The truth is according to his Ruach, his spirit, his word, his Torah, his Besora. That's what I, what's before me is the basort of truth. You can't be tossed about by every wind of doctrine. Doctrine. Every wind of doctrine. Right? You got so many Hebrews. So many ideas. So many philosophies. So many doctrines. If it was possible, they would have their own denominations. <laughs> First day Hebrew church. <laughs> the Baptist assemblies. <laughs> We teach this. We teach this. Every wind of doctrine. And doctrines are teachings that aren't the teachings of Hamashiach. Every wind of doctrine, every wind, every rustling. Oh, I gotta go hear him. Oh, I got to hear this. Or I got to hear that. You know, I don't hear everybody. I really don't. I listen to my more. I listen to my more and I listen to the other more. Right? I mean, I'm a, I'm a rebirther. <laughs> Simply. So I listen to my, my, my more Malika. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I listen to Syria. Yeah, that more. That more is tight. I listen to that more. And more of Yahushua. And more of Yosef. And more of Malawan. Right. And the Morris. Right, cuz. I listen to Morris. <laughs> I think that's the female equivalent. To teachers. I listen to them. Yes. Because they can have a word. I listen to more emotion. Augusta. <laughs> and more of Yahushua. <laughs> I listen to these mores, man. I listen to them. Right? But it's not every one of doctrine. It's the bar, it's the Basura of Yahushua. <laughs> it's the 
Bazaar of Yahushua. Right? So, the Basura of the Mores, right? And some of these Mores are, are not just Mores, they're pastors. They operate in prophets' offices. They operate in the evangelist office. Oh, yeah. They, 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 evangelist office. And they operate as prophets. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The word of Yahushua goes forth from these Mores. But they're proven, but they're not the only Mores. They're the only Mores that I listen to, but they're not the only Mores. Come on, listen. Yahushua's got people. All you have to do is make sure that what you're hearing has everything to do with the Basora of Yahushua HaMashiach. Him being the way, the truth, and the life. If that is not in their doctrine, I don't want to hear it. I don't care who you are. I don't care how nice you are. I don't care how persuasive you think you are. No. If what you say does not incorporate the foundation of why we do what we do. That's a wind of doctrine. That's a wind of doctrine. That's a wind. That's a wind of doctrine. It's a wind. Because you get tossed. Right? By the craftiness, right? Because these these people are crafty. They think up these doctrines. <laughs> they think up these doctrines, man. I don't even entertain them. I don't. Some of them I don't even add on my Facebook page. You know, I mean, it's crazy. People just want to add you, even in the Hebrew community, right? But I scan through your page. I look what you're posting. I look what you're saying. Huh? No. Oh. And then even now, I'm going to go through them again. Cause Because I don't want your doctrine posted on my page. That's a wind of doctrine. And see, you know what, right? Social media in and of itself can be informative. But if you ain't careful, you'll link yourself to somebody that's a wind. A wind of doctrine. They believe a certain thing, right? And they're going to try to get you to believe that thing, right? Because they want to be able to post what they post on your page, right? They, huh? No. Right? Because it's about Yahushua, Hamashiach, right? It's not about purple and gold. I see you see see you I see I see I see 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 It's not about what camp you in It's about the general assembly the unity of Hamashiach and the Ruach Hakadesh See and this is the thing right you could tell people who are operating in the winds of doctrines because they don't have the Ruach HaKadosh. You could tell them by what they say and what they post. Oh, you ain't got the Ruach. The Ruach ain't told you that. Oh, no. The Ruach ain't tell you that. And, you know, a lot of them, you know, a lot of people post these catchy little phrases, catchy little things, and, and you say to yourself, the Ruach didn't give you that. 
that ain't that ain't come from the Ruach. You get caught up allowing people to post stuff on your page. Any strange wind of doctrine. Right? It's crazy. Winds of doctrine. This It's crafty. They're crafty. They're subtle. Right? Subtle. I mean, I got people requesting me. Right? And granted, you know, I mean, I, I, I do videos now, you know, and I, I, I do them public, you know. So when, when I put a, a video on, it's public, which means that, you know, I, I, I want anybody, everybody who want to hear it to hear it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just exclusive to the Hebrew community. I put my stuff public. I want somebody have to click on my page and, or click on my video and, you know, and first assembly Baptist. <laughs> To me, it's the it's the bizarre truth, right? I mean, it's nothing sleight of hands. There's nothing crafty about what I do. There's nothing crafty about what I say. I say what's in the bizarre. When I teach, I teach straight from here, the bizarre. All right, listen, they're crafty, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. And you know what? Listen, man of Yah, hear me. Moray of Yah, prophet, pastor, preacher, teacher, right? If you're operating in the love of Yahusha by the spirit of unity, right? With all lowliness, meekness, and long suffering, and forbearing, and love, listen. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You really don't, because Yahushua is going to have his people, right? Because they're gonna want to be unified with you. They're gonna be wanting to walk in the unity of the Ruach like you. They're gonna want to receive the Basur of Truth from you. And if they don't, it's okay. It's Yahuwah's hands. It's in Yahushua's hands. Right? He says, but what do we do? See, now this is my, this is my saying. Right? And this is what I say. I mean, this is my tagline. This is what I say. Right? Right? Love speaks. The absolute truth. Right? I speak that. I, I put that on my everything that I, I try to put out there when it talks. It it's because of this. Speaking the truth in love. When I hear somebody that I know that's connected to Yahushua Hamashiach and they share something. I express my unity of the faith and the oneness of the body by saying to them, love speaks the absolute truth. <laughs> I know sometimes Bruce be like, what? Love speaks the truth. Ephesians 4 is 15, but speaking the truth in love. Agape may grow up into him in all things which is the head of Hamashiach. Because you're speaking the truth in love, you're growing up, you're maturing in Hamashiach. You're a part of the unity of the faith. You are a part of the body of Hamashiach. Don't matter where your assembly is. You are part of the body. He says, For whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies. 
right? So a body is held together, its joints, by joints and tendons, right? Tendons are the connective tissue that holds joints together, right? I think there's over eight or nine joints. You got your elbow joint. You got your wrist joint. You got your knee joint. You got your hip joint. You got the joints in your neck, right? You got the joints in your neck, your back. You have joints in your skull stitched together. Right. You have these connective tissue, right? The connect things, right? Joints. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. How many joints make up the body? Okay, how many joints? Okay. Let's find out the definition of a joint. Some define a joint as a point where two bones connect. Others suggest it is the point where bones connect for the purpose of movement of the body. Right? Movement of the body. So the joints are there for the movement of the body. Right? How many, how the human body has three main types of joints. So there's three types of joints. These are fixed or fibrous joints, right? Defined as two or more bones in close contact that have no movement, right? They're in close contact, but they have no movement. The bones of the skull are an example, right? The movable joints between the plates of the skull are known as sutures, but they're joints, right? There is another joint, is this amphitheritials. I don't even think I pronounced the first one. These names, I'm gonna spell them because I'm not sure. The first one was S-Y-N-A-R-T-H-R-O-S-E-S. -E it's a movable joint. The second, the, the second uh, type is the A M P H I A R T H R O S E S. These are slightly movable joints, right? Also known as cartilaginous joints. These joints are defined as two or more bones held so tightly together that only one limited movement can take place, right? The vertebrae, right? Or the spine, the vertebrae of the spine is a good example of a joint, right? Then the third one is the D-A-D-I-A-R, the rathrus, di di Rathros, D-I-A-R-T-H-R-O-S-E-S. -E it's freely movable joints, right? Also known as synovial joints. These joints have synovial fluid enabling all parts of the joints to move smoothly against each other, right? 
These are also prevalent joints in the bodies. Example, knees, shoulders, right? So, shoulders, knees, right? Joints. Joints, type of freely moving joints. Ball and socket joint, permitted movement in all directions. It's like your, your, your pelvis, your bone, your connects your legs to your pelvis, or I think your legs, bone to pelvis, right? Your socket ball, like your knee socket, or either your shoulder socket, right? Your hinge joint, right? Your elbow, right? It's a hinge joint. You can't move it but one direction. If you move it in the other direction, it's going to pop out, right? The condoid joint, allow, or condoid joint, allows movement, but no range of movement, range of motion. Uh, your finger joints and your jaw, right? Your jaw and your fingers, your joints, right? They allow you a range of movement, right? But the range of movement is limited. You know, you can, you can't go in all directions. If you do, they'll pop out, right? The pivot joints. These are rotary joints or trochocyte joints. It is characterized by one bone that can swivel on a fringe of a second bone right uh, that's like your forearm and the joints between your second vertebrae of your neck right and there's a couple more here that all are joints now I said all that to say this from whom the whole body Yahushua's body right fitly joined together. The body of Yahushua, all the assemblies that are one in Yahushua Hamashiach, who are in the way, the truth, and they have received the life, who have been redeemed by the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach, who have been sealed by the Ruach of Truth make up this body and they all contribute. They all have roles. They all have importance. Right? So in dealing with them, you have to always recognize. I had to always recognize that I have to come from a place of lowliness, of meekness. Because what I provide for them supplies the body of Yahushua. He said, join together compact by that which every joint supplies. Right? Every joint is necessary to the functioning of the body. Every joint is necessary. That's why we have to speak the truth, the Basora of truth, the Torah of truth. In love. Because there are going to be plenty of people laying wait to bring in heresies. Right? We know this in, in, in the awakening. We know this. So we have to speak the basura of truth in love. Because in the Ruach HaKadosh, it's about oneness. 
It's about oneness. It's not about me and my assembly. It's about the assembly of Yahushua HaMashiach. And we just one joint. We just one member that supplies the overall body. From whom, listen, from whom the whole body, the whole body, the whole body, not just the church of Ephesus, but all the churches that Paul visited, they were all the body. Corinth had issues, but they were all the body. I have to do is speak the truth and love. See, that's why love speaks the truth for me. That's why I say love speaks the truth. Because that's what it's about, the truth. And the truth, when people know it, will make them free. Right? Yahushua said he was the way. The Torah, the truth. Right? When you receive the Torah of truth, man, listen. It'll make the difference. Now, listen. You have people that they can have the Torah of truth in front of them all, all day long, but it's okay. They don't receive it. We talked about you, Judas. Was <laughs> the disciple of Yahushua. Listen to him declare the Besor, watched him do all that he do, raise Lazarus from the dead. Listen, they saw him eat. Saw him feed thousands, right? He was given the basura of truth all the time. Did Yahushua not speak the basura of truth and love? Speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things. It's the basur of truth. Yahushua said, listen, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Yusha says, what did he say? He said, uh, to the Father, that they would know the love of the Lord. They would know your love, the love that we share, that they would walk in that unity, that they would keep that love. Yahushua said, greater love have no man than this, that one would lay down his life. The Batorah of truth, the Ruach HaKadosh in you, the witness of Yahushua should be enough for you to lay down your life. He said, from whom the whole world's body fitly joined together, compacted with every joint, every joint, every joint. I'm a joint. My joint may be this one. But it's okay though. I'm still in the body. <laughs> My joint, maybe this one, still in the body, right? Now listen, right? This finger can bend, right? This one can't bend anymore. This one I got stuck with it. Sea catfish. Man, you talking about pain. He stuck me when I was taking him off the hook. That thing broke off. That burr broke off in my finger. Right? And it was there. I still got it. I think I got it in a jar. Or a little, one of little cups. And he slid it open. The doctor. He x-rayed it first to make sure there was something there. I said, there was something there. He 
he had insurance that burned. He got in there, made an incision, and took it out, right? But in the process, right, he cut the tendon, right? So now, I don't get that added bend, right? This right here, that's a joint still. Still connected, right? Right? It's a difference in the finger. Right? Some say it looks a little weird. But it's still a part of my body. And I still have use. I may not have the range that I had with it before. But it's still effective. Right? No matter where you are in the body. Right? As long as the truth is being spoken in love. And you receive it. And you contribute that's the body of Yusha Mashiach. That body is effective. It's the effectual working of the measure of every part. Yusha dealt me the measure of the teaching of the Basura, right? You may not have that measure, but your measure is important to the body, supporting to the joints in the body. Right? They all supply. They're all important. In Yahushua. Right? Said, for whom the whole body fitly joined together, we are a whole body and compacted by that which every joint supplies. Compacted. What does that word compacted mean in the Greek? The Greek word for compacted. Strong's G forty-eight twenty-two, Sumbi Bodzo. Sumbi Bodzo. All right. To cause to collace, to join together, to put together, to unite, to knit together, to knit together, right? In a, in a. Affection. To unite together in affection. Right? To cause to collace. To join together. To put together. To unite or knit together in affection. Everything we do as teachers, as as people who share the basura. And it's not just pastors and teachers and prophets and evangelists. It's everyone who shares the word of Yahushua HaMashiach that's in the way. Right? You're affecting the body. You're supplying to the body by speaking the truth in love. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies. Every joint supplies. Every body contributes to the body of a Mashiach who are in the way, who receive the truth and who have the life, right? Which means that Hamashiach is the way. So if you don't believe that Hamashiach is the way, you don't believe Hamashiach is the son of Elua, the son of, son of Yahushua, well, you ain't even in the, you ain't even in there. You ain't even in there. You ain't even in there. You're not in the body of Hamashiach. You're not even in there. Right? Every joint supplies according to the effectual working. Because it's effectual. Right? It's, it's affection. It's effectual. That means it's effective. It's working efficiently. Right? 
everybody's contribution to the body of Hamashiach causes the body to operate efficient. That's why everybody, everybody, not just your mores, not your people, it's your vocation, right? It's your vocation. Therefore, as prisoners of your of Alua, I beg you to walk worthy of your vocation. Everybody in the body, everybody in the body, everybody walk worthy. Everybody walk with loneliness and meekness and long suffering and fair bearing one another in love. Leadership, but the people too. Everybody in the body, because you you effectively cause the body to function. Because you endeavor to keep the unity of the ruach, you should be endeavoring to keep the unity of the ruach hakadesh. He says. The effectual working, verse 16, in the measure of every part, every part, right? Maketh increase of the body unto edifying of itself in love. Edifying itself in love. Yahushua said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. If you love me, you'll keep my basura of truth. Yahushua so loved us that he gave. Yahuwah loved us so much that he gave. Yahushua. Yahushua loved us so much that he fulfilled the basura of his father and died. Uh, man. man of y'all, woman of y'all, we, we gonna pump the brakes. We gonna stop right here. And we are going to declare the Torah of truth. Continually, forever. And to them who have ears to hear, let them hear. Because this is about the unity of the faith. It is about the bond of peace. It's about the love of Yahushua. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, called the greatness. Woman of Yah, beautifully wonderfully made Yahuwah has favored you with his besor of truth right hear his word and walk in it with that I say shalom 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 Torah Garden speaking the absolute truth Torah Nation